In this video, we're going to talk about how to factor by grouping. So let's begin. Let's say if we have the expression x squared plus 4x plus 5x plus 20. What would you do to factor this expression? So the first thing is you need to figure out, can you use the factoring by grouping technique? Can we do that? And here's how you can tell. What is 4 divided by 1? 4 divided by 1 is 4. And what is 20 divided by 5? 20 divided by 5 is 4. So if the first two coefficients have the same ratio as the last two coefficients, then you can factor by grouping. So that's just a quick way to tell if this technique is going to work or not. So in the first two terms, what we need to do is take out the GCF, the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is x. x squared divided by x is x. And 4x divided by x is 4. Now for the last two terms, we need to take out the GCF, which in this case is 5. 5x divided by 5 is x. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Now, what is our next step? What should we do at this point? If you see a common factor, in this case x plus 4, it tells you you're on the right step. So you want to factor out the GCF, which is x plus 4. If we take out x plus 4, we're going to have x left over. And if we factor out x plus 4 from the second term, we're going to have positive 5 left over. So the answer is x plus 4 times x plus 5. Now let's try another example. Try this one. Go ahead and factor the expression 2x cubed plus 8x squared. Okay, that does not look like a 2. And uh, minus 3x minus 12. So first, can we factor by grouping? 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Negative 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So the answer is yes, we can factor by grouping. So let's take out the GCF in the first two terms. And this is going to be 2x squared. 2x cubed divided by 2x squared is x. 8x squared divided by 2x squared is 4. And in the last two terms, we can take out a negative 3. Negative 3x divided by negative 3 is x. Negative 12 divided by negative 3 is positive 4. So we have the common term x plus 4. So let's take out x plus 4. If we take out this term, we have uh, 2x squared left over. And if we remove it from the second term, we're going to have negative 3 left over. So this is the answer. It's x plus 4 times 2x squared minus 3. Try this one. 10a squared minus 8ab plus 15ab minus 12b squared. Go ahead and factor this expression. So what is the GCF in the first two terms? What can we take out? So we can take out a 2 and we can take out an a. Now 10a squared divided by 2a is equal to 5a. So we're going to put that here. And negative 8ab divided by 2a is equal to negative 4 times b. The a values cancel. So this is just going to be minus 4b. Now what is the GCF in the last two terms? What can we take out? The greatest common factor is 3b. We can take out a 3 from 15 and negative 12, and we can take out b from b and b squared. So 15ab divided by 3b 
is going to be 5a. 15 divided by 3 is 5. The b's cancel, leaving just the letter a behind. And negative 12b squared divided by 3b is negative 4b. So the fact that these two are the same tells you that you're on the right track. So let's take out 5a minus 4b. And then it's going to be 2a plus 3b. So this is the answer. To prove that this is the answer, we can FOIL this expression and see if it's going to give us the original problem. So let's go ahead and do that. 5a times 2a is 10a squared. 5a times 3b is 15ab. Negative 4b times 2a is negative 8ab. And negative 4b times 3b is negative 12b squared. Notice that these two expressions are the same. We have negative 8b, 15ab, negative 12b squared, and 10a squared, which means that this is indeed the right answer. So let's move on to our next example. Now, what would you do to factor this particular expression? 2x squared minus 3x minus 9. How can you factor by grouping? Typically, when you want to factor by grouping, you need four terms. Right now, we have three. So we need to adjust this expression. How can we turn this um, three-term polynomial into a four-term polynomial? So first, multiply 2 by negative 9. 2 times negative 9 is negative 18. And then find two numbers that multiply to negative 18, but that add to negative 3. So this is going to be negative 6 and 3. Negative 6 times 3 is negative 18, but negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to replace negative 3x with negative 6x plus 3x. Now notice that we can factor by grouping. Let's check the ratios. Negative 6 divided by 2 is equal to negative 3. And negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. So let's take out the GCF in the first two terms. This is going to be 2x. 2x squared divided by 2x is x. And negative 6x divided by 2x is negative 3. In the last term, we could take out a 3. 3x divided by 3 is x. And negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. So we have a common factor, x minus 3. So we can take that out. And we'll be left with 2x plus 3. So this is the answer. That's how you can factor this particular expression. Let's try one more example. So feel free to pause the video and try this one. 21x squared minus 5x minus 6. Go ahead and try that one. So the first thing that we need to do is multiply 21 times negative 6. So what is 21 times negative 6? 20 times 6 is 120. 1 times 6 is 6, so this must be negative 126. Now, what two numbers multiply to negative 126 but add to negative 5? So that's going to take some work. So we're going to make a list of numbers. We know that 21 times negative 6 is negative 126. Factors of 21 are 3 and 7. Factors of 6 are 3 and 2. So 2 goes into 126. And what remains is 3, 3, and 7. 3 times 3 is 9. Times 7 is 63. So 63 times 2 is 126. One of them is negative, but we can add the negative sign later. The next number that goes into 126 is 3. So what we have left over is 3 times 7, which is 21, times 2, which is 42. So 3 times 42 is 126. Now, the next number is 6. 3 times 2 is 6. 
and what remains is 3 times 7, which is 21. So 6 times 21 is 126. 7 also goes into it. So what remains is 3 times 2, which is 6 times 3, that's 18. Now, 3 times 3 is 9. So 126 is divisible by 9. And what remains is 7 times 2, which is 14. So 9 times 14 must be 126. But notice that 9 and 14 differs by 5. So positive 9 and negative 14 adds up to negative 5. So now that we have our numbers, let's convert this 3-term polynomial into a 4-term polynomial. So 21x squared plus 9x minus 14x minus 6. The order in which you write these two doesn't matter. If you wrote negative 14x plus 9x, you will get the same answer. Now let's remove the GCF from the first two terms. We can take out a 3x. 21x squared divided by 3x is 7x. 9x divided by 3x is 3. In the last two terms, we can take out a 2. Well, let's take out negative 2. Negative 14x divided by negative 2 is 7x. Negative 6 divided by negative 2 is 3. So you want to factor in such a way so that these two are the same. That's why you want to take out negative 2 as opposed to positive 2. So we know the answer is going to be 7x plus 3 times 3x minus 2. So this is it.